So today we're doing muzzle conditioning um, using free shaping. So this is a force-free exercise. The correct way to get your dog used to a muzzle is to condition it. That takes a little bit of time to get your dog to A, like it, and B, voluntarily put his muzzle into yours. Um, so today I am using one of the generic slip muzzles um, that you would most commonly see at your vets. Uh, it's not a particularly fancy brand, it's just a run of the mill muzzle that you can find most places. My muzzle opens out, uh, which is super, super helpful. Uh, if you have a dog which is naturally apprehensive about having their face in something uh, or just weary of new things, uh, I've seen people replicate this activity just using the palm of their hand or any flat surface, um, and you can absolutely do that too. But for today, I'll be using just a classic slip muzzle. I'm also using a clicker and some treats. What I'm doing with Doug here is I'm actually just walking by, sitting down next to him, carrying my muzzle. I'm not looking at him, I'm not putting it on him, I'm not even making eye contact. I get up and I walk away again. Uh, if your dog is naturally weary of new things, this can be really helpful um, to actually spark curiosity in the dog and desensitize. You can also use a process called luring, where you put the treats into your hand and you show the dog that if you touch this, you will get this. Um, but honestly, a lot of naturally curious, confident dogs might not even need to be lured. So depending on your dog, you might be able to skip that altogether. First and foremost, please don't start this process by shoving your muzzle in the dog's face. Even the most confident dog is gonna go, Ugh, what is this, what are you doing? Um, hold the muzzle out to the side, to the left and to the right. Make sure your dog has an exit. Muzzle. If your dog at any given point doesn't want to do this anymore, leave it, stop. And the next time, think about how you might be able to take that process a little bit slower. Start off by clicking and treating any voluntary contact between your dog's chin or nose and the muzzle. Any voluntary contact at all. The dog doesn't need to put his whole face into the muzzle in order to get the treat. That's why it's called free shaping. That means we break it down into tiny little pieces and then we put those pieces together at a later stage. So if your dog is just sniffing the muzzle or just very gently easing towards it and touching it with the tip of his nose, that's totally great. It's a step ahead of where you were before. As your dog gets more refined at this, delay your reward. Delay your click if you're using a clicker, which I highly recommend, so that the dog has to leave his face or his muzzle where it is for a little bit longer in order to get the reward. If he takes his chin away before you give the click, don't do anything at all, leave it there. And what you'll find is most dogs will actually correct their own behavior by putting their chin back for longer or even more insistently bumping the muzzle with their nose because they're saying, hey, where was that treat? I had it before, come on, give it back. Dogs will naturally paw at things. Uh, my dog Doug is a big, pawy dog. He just goes in, he goes in swiping, and that's great. If I was to tell him oh off and I was to say, no, 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 um, he would just be stressed out and not have fun anymore. If I was to keep saying, muzzle, 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 he would become confused and more than likely stressed because he doesn't yet know what muzzle is. So what I'm doing is I'm just ignoring him when he puts his paw on the muzzle. I'm not telling him anything at all. I leave my hand there for a while and wait for him to offer his nose instead. If he doesn't, I calmly take the muzzle away. When he does put his chin or his nose properly in the muzzle, that's when I'm gonna say, good muzzle. Through hearing this cue in context, he's a lot more likely to associate it with the behavior I want when I ask for it at a later stage. Once your dog's offering that behavior reliably, that's muzzle. when you can start asking for the muzzle on cue. Yes. If you ask for the behavior and your dog doesn't offer it, go back again. Muzzle. Wait for the behavior yes. to be offered by the dog and then reward, saying good muzzle. If you're still having to push that muzzle out towards your dog, restrain your dog in any way, or repeat the command multiple times, you're going too fast. Take it back a few steps. Once you've got the muzzle on your dog securely, you'll quickly find that they'll be fine for a little while and then they'll start pouring to take it off. 
please be respectful and if your dog starts pawing at the muzzle by all means take it off the number one question i would be asked uh, at this time which you're probably already thinking is but then i'm going to encourage him to to pour at it and then he's going to learn that i take it off yes that's great because it means that he can trust you to not abuse that privilege um, that he's allowing you to have over him. It's essentially me voluntarily allowing myself to be put in handcuffs. It's a position of trust and I think that it's completely acceptable um, and appropriate that you reward his trust with respect. What do you do if your dog is pawing at the muzzle? Take it off and leave it on less time next time. When your dog's got the muzzle on, treat, treat, reward, praise, everything great and you take it off before he starts pawing to take it off. Leave him wanting more and the next time when he has his muzzle removed and he associates that with no more treats, he's gonna wish you left it on for longer. Let me know if this works guys. Any questions, you know where to find me.